Hello there, and welcome to Health and Science. Today's topic will be stress. So let's start off by describing what is stress. The reasons for stress are many and various, but the bodily reactions to stress are pretty similar between different people. So it all starts when the brains react to a sudden challenging or threatening situation with stress reaction. And the, this increases the physiological and psychological capability to deal with the situation. So stress reaction is a natural reaction to situation and it increases our ability to deal with the situation. The second thing that happens is that the body secretes stress hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol into the blood circulation and the blood circulation takes these hormones all over your body. It makes your muscles go tense and your palms sweat as well as it makes your breathing heavier and it also makes your heart beat faster and it increases your blood sugar. And these are all reactions to heighten your awareness and make your body more ready. And it's, it's a natural, natural reaction. So then, is stress good or bad? Is it friend or foe? We human being, beings, we can withstand short-term acute stress pretty well. So acute means short-term. And uh, stress is normal reaction. It helps us to reach better performance and find new resources within ourselves. For example, in sports or in if you're an actor or a singer performing, the stress reaction occurs naturally and it gives you more resources and ability to deal with the situation. Then again, chronic long-term stress can turn into distress. This leads into diminished health and increased propensity to illness, so you might get ill easier and get diseases. So here I have made a chart about the stress and how it affects your health over a period of time. So let's see if we have in the X axis we have the working ability and on the Y axis we have period of time. As you can see when the stress continues and the time goes on you at, at some point you reach the stress tolerance and then your working ability will start going down. This leads to over exhaustion and finally into burnout. So short term stress here is the good stress that makes you more excited and your mind is sharper and it increases your capaci capacity. But it easily gets into prolonged stress and it causes insomnia, memory loss, weakened problem solving, irritability and headache and stomach pain. And when the stress goes on too long it starts to go into continuous stress and it exceeds the overexhaustion and you finally burn out. And this leads into uh, distress in the body and it will cause you pa lo lack of motivation and also it's a uh, situation in the body that will cause you to stop. So now describe what the following means. Acute stress, good stress, emotional stress and burnout and write down short, short description on each. We can continue from this in the class.